Ba-dum, bum, 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 it's the Jeffrey G Show with Dutch Man. Here we go, it's the Jeffrey G Show with the Dutch Man. Here we go, it's the Jeffrey Show with the Dutch Man. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, January 17th, 2013. This is Daily Talk with Jeffrey G, yours truly, and Dutch. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, starting off with some bad news. My Scoot Scoot is not living much longer. It's starting to stall again at the red lights and stop signs and turning off. And they cannot fix it. And they recommend I buy a new scooter and stop spending money on this one. They did try to fix it. And it worked for a second and then stalls out again. So, it's unfixable. Time to buy a new Scoot Scoot. You know, and I'm like, annoyed I gotta buy a new scooter, but I'm like, over this one, so I don't even care anymore. Anyways, if you want to make a donation for me to get a new scooter, please send me a message. Thank you. American Idol was on last night. Uh, I don't know who watched. I loved it. Last year I didn't watch American Idol, or the year before. I got, like, out of it. And I think the um, producers were very smart to put Minaj and Carrie in there um, with their fighting. Because that's why I watched it. And it seems like the show's more about the judges than it is with the talent. But I got sucked in because I didn't watch it last year. I thought it was boring. The year before that, I thought it was boring. But now I'm back into American Idol, so we'll see what happens. Um, I like the season. You know, we needed the, the Nicki Minaj, Mariah. Um, also, a new show I saw the other day, which I'm in love with and I want everyone to watch it, is The Carrie Diaries. It's on the WB, and it's about Carrie Bradshaw, Sex and the City. Um, it's a prequel, so it's when she was a teenager starting to go into the city. It's very good. I really like it. So, check that out next week if you missed it. Also, my friend Jake at work, I love him to death, um, but he's one of those silent instigators like, he'll see me, because he knows I'm impatient, so he'll see me get in an argument or to say something. And then, like, an hour later, he'll be like, say something snide to get me going. And he knows he does it, but I love him. And he has these hilarious one-liners. I mean, they're so funny. Love you, Jake. So, um, with my patience, I harass the bartenders to make the drinks quicker for my tables. Like, I'll ring it in, and... Like yesterday, for example, the bartender's like, the ticket just printed. And I'm like, yeah, well, in New York, the drink would have been at the table by now. They don't get that I'm from New York and everything is so fast. And he's like, well, you're in Florida now. People like to wait. I don't, but whatever. I'm just trying to get my drinks out quick. For my guests, alcohol is important for some people. Um, so yesterday, well, right now I keep looking out my window. Because yesterday, I'm laying in my bed. That's Stu, because a car just pulled up. I'm laying in my bed, writing. Um, writing. I was going to do the show, and all of a sudden I hear the dogs barking. And I'm like, what the heck? And I'm um, in a little green underwear, smoking a cigarette on my computer. And I hear, Jeffrey G. Show. And I look out my big window, and it's the owner of my restaurant, Elliot. He thought I was filming and wanted to uh, be... Do a little guest guest appearance, but I didn't film yesterday. So hopefully, maybe one day he can drop by when I'm filming. He gets the right timing, right, Elliot? Alrighty. Um, so I had a great day at work yesterday. Um, then when I got off work, things started to slowly go down. Hell. For example, my scooter stalled. I take it to the scooter place to get it fixed. Now I need a new one. Then I go to Starbucks and they recommend I try the vanilla spice latte since I like the pumpkin spice because I was doing the vanilla latte because they're out of the pumpkin spice for the season. So I tried the vanilla spice. First sip was all right. I got home. I hated it. So I wasted $5 at Starbucks and dumped it. So that sucked. Then Duke had a seizure. And then Dutch was scooting his butt all over the floor because he needs his anal glands drained. Now I gotta take Duke to the vet because this is his second like long seizure. And Duke wouldn't go out yesterday for a walk. Um, and then he wouldn't eat any treats. So it really upset me. And 
And then I tried to go to the store, and then the scooter won't start. And I gave it 10 minutes and started. So then I just was like, you know what, time to go to bed. Um, I am getting rid of my scooter. I'm selling it for cheap. If anyone's interested, hit me up. Um, and jobdreaming.com or dreamingjob.com, one of those. It's a great website. You go there, put the job in you want in your area, and they will email you when it comes up, if a posting comes up. So check that out. And a very happy birthday to John DeGia. I love you, Johnny. Um, I did make him a birthday song yesterday. It's rated R. So if you watch it, just remember it's rated R. Mom. But have a very happy birthday, Johnny DeGia. And I hope you saw my video and loved it. And again, people, it's jokes. I'm a comedian. So then the night went worse. So after that, I get home. I'm like, all right, I'm in the house. Everything's fine. I'm filming the birthday song for John DeGia. My camera tips over on the tripod and breaks. It's the old camera, but I still use it. Annoying. Because um, I use the old one because it uploads quicker. The other one takes like an hour to upload. Whatever. So, over tonight, 9 p.m. on own, Lance Armstrong interview. All right, so 10 things that drive me nuts. Traffic, number one. Two, long lines in stores. Three, stupid people. Four, slow walkers in front of me. Five, slow drivers. Six, people who make noises who eat. When they eat, uh. Seven, people in bad moods. Eight, people who use people. Nine, when I break things in my house. And ten, when I run out of things. Those are the top 10 things that drive me nuts. So I'm sure you guys all are drive me nuts with those. All right, we're getting into G-Spot News. At first, the Valentine's Day is coming up, so I bought this vanilla frosting that's pink. Mmm, so good, so sugary. Why am that? I ate, like, 20 cookies. You don't want vanilla frosting? Are you kidding I ate like 20 cookies with this. All right. So. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Let's see what he does with that. So G News. All right. Three Vegas properties are in war to snag Britney Spears as their headliner. Caesars Palace offered $200 million, but nothing is signed yet. So Britt walked away from X Factor for $15 million, and now she's getting $200 million offers. What hotel will she pick? Or will she not do it at all? Stay tuned, we'll find out. The big confession of Lance Armstrong is being hailed as the sporting event of the year. Everybody wanted to interview Lance Armstrong, including Barbara Walters and Diane Sawyer, but he chose Oprah! I can't wait, I'm so excited tonight. I'm gonna watch it at nine o'clock on OWN. This is, can you picture it? Lance, you won seven Tour de France, and you did not use any performance-enhancing drugs. It's very impressive. Is there a confession or anything you want to admit to me and to the world today? Yes, Oprah. I took performance-enhancing drugs. It's Oprah breathing. Wow. Well, Lance, you took performance-enhancing drugs. Just kidding, but I can't wait to see it tonight. Edward Furlong is fired from his second movie for his domestic violence. Um, he beat up his girlfriend again, and now this is the second film he's been fired from. He should just hang out with Lindsay Lohan. Bum, bum, bum. Different Stroke star Conrad Bain dies at 89. And Miss Alabama, Catherine Webb, is covering the Super Bowl for Inside Edition. Congratulations to her. And we have Selena Gomez in leather, and she is doing a TV special for Wizards of Waverly Place, which I thought went off the air a while ago, but congratulations to her. And former American Idol Judge Kara Dio Guardi is pregnant. Congratulations. Musical people usually have musical babies. And Khloe Kardashian Odom slams her full Lamar 
divorce rumors. They are not getting divorced, and Lamar did not cheat. Okay, people, leave her alone. And you have to go online to hear Samuel L. Jackson cover Taylor Swift's We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. You know the song that goes, ooh, 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 we're never, ever, ever getting back together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't sing, but go online to see that. It's hilarious. And that's all for today. I'm Jeffrey G. This is The Dutch Man. And you guys have a great day. And remember to say hi to someone today. And it's a very special day because happy birthday, John Gia. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Jeffrey G. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're never, ever, ever getting back together.